Hey folks, uh, Psychotic Comedian for uh, show 98. I apologize for being a little late, but I had to sneak around the, the building security because they're out watching for the pounder, so anyway. But I'm here, and uh, so let's, uh, I don't know, let's get this thing going. Uh, well, UPTV, I was at the gym the other day, and I was in the bathroom stall. Um, I probably don't mention what I'm doing there. But uh, I looked on the, uh, you know how people say for a good time, call so-and-so. Well, I saw on the side of the thing, the stall said, for a good time, call this number. I said, hey, this number looks relatively familiar, UPTV. So I called it. And it was me as my number. I called myself. That's so sad. <laughs> okay. Okay, I read this is more comments on my show. I've been here and I've been getting some comments. And number one, Paul, why don't you shove your Uncle Jeremy up your ass for the good of us all? <laughs> okay. For I met some dirty sons of bitches in my day, and I met some goddamn dirty sons of bitches. But you, my friend, those are goddamn gom goddamnest dirty son of bitches I've ever met. Okay. Paul, Paul please see, send me some naked pictures of yourself to prove that you're eight and three fourths inch. Signed, anonymous. Paul, you're the kind of guy that I like to tie up to my four wheeler and drag you down a steep mountain to your early demise. Get a hair, yeah, I know. Get a haircut, you pretty boy, you. Here's some of the comments. How about that? Well, I was, uh, I go through depression stages, you know, low self-esteem. I, I was feeling a little depressed, seriously, uh, about a week or so ago. So, you know, I went down, you know, to kind of my stomping grounds for people that are feeling down on themselves. You guessed it, the Blue Note Pharmacy and Tavern. Well, I go, uh, I hit on some of the hotties there. I said, uh, hey, hot stuff, why do you have your hands raised up in front of you like that? She goes, well, sir, I, I think that I'm dead. I go, maybe I can work with this. I said, hey, Mrs. Dead, you want to give me some head? All right. Hey, baby, what's your story? I feel like a man trapped in a woman's body. Okay, I'm moving to the left right of you. Hey, what's, uh, hey, slut, what's your story? Paul, have you ever wondered what it's like to, would be like to put, to throw yourself in front of a running semi 55 miles per hour? Okay. I was done. These people were kind of worse off than I was. So I went in the corner of the uh, the pharmacy slash town and prayed, displayed, spin the antidepressant bottle. So I ended up feeling pretty good after it was done. Never mind. Well, UPTV, I went out in disguise, seriously, last Friday to see how many times I could get slapped by women going to the, I call them lush dives, to the local lush dives. And um, I said, hey, touch, you want to fuck? She goes, uh, sir, you're gross, and I'm married, for Christ's sake. I go, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You're going to be waking up with the same dick every morning. All right. Hey, hey, pretty babe, you want to go work out with me? And then I could, after you get done being on the thigh master, I can lick the sweat off the thigh master. Slap number two. Hey, uh, hey, sweetie, is that your, uh, your overweight boyfriend there? She goes, well, yes, it is. I said, it looks like you have a... A uh, hell of a piece of clay around to work with here, you know. Okay. Hey, 
Hey, pretty lady, you want to have sexual relations with me? Oh, I'm sorry. This is a high-class bar. I shouldn't have said that. Okay, another slap. Then I said, um... I said, hey, pretty, what's your... St I'm a lesbian, sir, straight out. Well, I said, we both have something in common. We both like licking that greasy pussy, don't we, baby? Ooh, yeah. A girl actually came up to me and started talking to me. She goes, ooh, boy, I like your hair job there, Paul. And I go like, uh, well, I have no respect for women. I have to get drunk to have sex with guys. Well, I got slapped. And then at the end, I was like, what? Is, so many places in town, I end up going, what am I doing here? And then I slapped myself, and that was the end of the evening. Okay. Right. Last uh, Sunday, last Sunday I was outside of a bakery in downtown Champaign. I go to a couple places there now to hang. And this guy was like, you know, talking into himself, you know, like he's some big shot, you know, buy, sell, trade, you know, and I... I just bet that there was no one on the other end of the cell phone he was talking to. But enough about my Sunday afternoon. Okay. You know, I've done its various interviews with that kind of cool guy, uh, Chasm. Well, I did, um, as you know, I'm in the business and stuff. I don't have to say that. And uh, this, I went out to Las Vegas to do the interview with him. Uh, here's kind of how it went down. Uh, welcome to another edition of Going Deep. My name is Chasm. With me today is adult actor Paul Skinner. How you doing, Paul? Doing pretty good, Case. Thank you. Paul, I hear you. Paul, I hear you have a website called uh, Visit uh, Club Pounder. Well, actually, it's it's a it's a video site ca called "Come Ball with Paul." How about that? Yeah. Well, that makes sense. I don't know why anyone wanted to club you. The the damage has obviously been done, Paul. I hear another big black man has come in to sign a contract to your studio that you work with. I hear he's uh, better looking. He's in better shape. And he has a bigger dick than you. Well, that's correct, Kaysom. Well, how does it feel to play second fiddle to a black man, uh, Paul? Well, I think, you know, when it comes to... <sighs> You're boring me already. Okay, that's... Uh... Sorry about that, Gason. Paul, a strawberry has C's on the outside. What up with that? That was a, that was a joke by a black man. Anyway, I'd like to thank my uh, guest, Paul Skinner. Thank you, Paul. You're welcome. Um, mission my web yes, come visit his website, come uh, ball with Paul. Okay. And here's another uh, interview. Uh, this was another missed lost segment that I did like like six days down the road. Um, Paul, what's the, what's the most embarrassing or uncomfortable thing you've had to, thing you had to do in your industry? Well, Kaysom, there's been a few occasions where I had to drop my pants and, and jerk off and get my dick hard. I felt really gay. Nothing gay about that, buddy. You're just doing your job. Okay. Can I ask you a question, Paul? Yeah. Does Kaysom appear to have a big penis? Yes. Yes, it does. I do have, it does appear that I do have a big penis. How about that? And that was the uh, missing bit. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Kaysom. 
And that's oh, going to be the end of this show, folks. Show number, we got it? Cool. This is the end of the show number 98. Um, I feel like I put my best foot forward on it. Um, as always, um, Jason's here. Appreciate him on the uh, on the boards today filming me. And I appreciate all the other guys who are gone various doing their various things. Uh, Jacob and uh, and Jake and uh, Dan, which comes in on Fridays. And Kaleeb, hey, goes without saying. I'm going to email you. With all that said and done, um, you know, just keep, you know, if you want to put down me, you can put down me all you want, but, you know, I like the positive things too, and this is a psychotic comedian feeding you adieu. All right. Yeah.